Well, I'm trying to play on the R36 Max device, and only the PSP games are uh, working. This is the stock device from the Timu store, and I've already did a couple of uh, videos about uh, it and uh, com a comparison with the R36S device. Now, the problem with this dude is that the stock device, as uh, arrived from Timu store, does not work. Uh, with uh, all the games except for the PSP ones and this game is a PSP one and I want to tell you that out of those uh, PSP one many of them are in Chinese and I don't know if there's any possibility to switch the language and uh, <clears throat> uh, practically I don't know how to solve the issue for the other game so as I was showing you in my last video was that if you go to any other game which is not PSP, you will get, besides this bug, which bugs me for a lot of uh, times, but uh, I have the issue that it uh, crashes all the other games. And I'm pretty much fed up with this, so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, upgrade your device to ArcOS on R36 Mac. I'm going to use another SD card besides uh, the um, uh, original one which is right here inside simply because I would like to have the original image and I'm not sure if the original image, if you lose it, I'm not sure if it's accessible on the internet because for the R36S it's not or at least I didn't find it but anyway let's get uh, down to work and see how um, we can upgrade this device to ArcOS, um, having in mind the possibility that it will lose all the games and you have to install games manually with Quartz Master. But I'll try to cover that as well. So bear with me in this video while I show you how to install ArcOS on the R36 Max game uh, console. If you want to download the ArcOS for the R36 Max, you just need to head over to this GitHub page, which I will put the link down below in the description and uh, just go for the download of the R36 Max version. Select the Mediafire option and uh, download it. Just wait for the image to be downloaded and then you can use a tool like the Imager from the Raspberry Pi. Where you click here in the Choose OS and then scroll down, use the custom image that has been provided by the download. Then you have to choose the storage, which in this case I don't have any, but I will have to insert it right away. Oop. And then you can choose it right here. And then click right, select yes, and it will write it for you. Just Wait for it to be done and then you can test it on your device. So I flashed my new SD card with the Arc OS. Let's try to run the device. Hmm? Is this MULEC again? Hmm. That's odd. Really, that's really odd. Or maybe ju it's just a splash screen. Mm, that's interesting because this is still MULEC, although I flashed ArcOS, like in uh, the instructions that I gave you. <clears throat> still, I don't see the games, and uh, yeah, I still I see nothing. That's very odd in my opinion. Let me shut it down and do one one check. Let's take it out. Hmm. The same thing. My hunch is that it has a another like a um, memory flash in the side because as you can see i've got no sd anywhere in, in, inside so um 
Yeah, I think it's the same result. So it practically has uh, its own uh, MULEC just inside somewhere, somewhere here inside those titties. Which is strange because the other device, R36S, is actually booting completely from the SD card. And uh, that's a peculiarity, I would say. So it shows how much different these devices are. Because if you see, like, go all the games, we can see nothing. Troubleshooting, blah, blah, blah. Paging. Yeah, it's bullshit. Um, one uh, other thing that I noticed is that this is called TF2. And that one is TF1. And the original uh, SD card was <clears throat> plugged in inside the TF2. So what happens if I do uh, plug it in uh, the TF1 instead? Will it boot from uh, the SD card or how it will work? I'm not sure. Uh, it seems that these two are very, very different. So I'm not sure how it will behave. Will it boot from the memory SD card or how it will behave? I don't know. Ah, you see, now it's different. ArcOS, yeah, we can see ArcOS. Yeah, it does the initial say startup, and then I think we need to wait. So practically, what will happen the first time boot up will be much slower because on the SD card you actually flash flash like uh, three gigs, but uh, if you have uh, like a uh, sixty four gigs uh, SD card, it will extend uh, the available file system so that you can use all the space. So now it does this uh, cleaning up, file copying, blah blah blah. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so how important it is to um, to plug it in inside uh, the right uh, slot. Okay, it's oh beautiful. So oh, what does it do? Oh, it actually installed Portmaster. But if you go to port, you've got nothing. Options, retro art, all games. We have any game? I think this one requires something like uh, a new ROM. Okay. Doom. Ooh. For Poom. What the heck is that? <laughs> Continue. Oh. Reset card. Exit mail. What the heck is this? Card. Load. Oh. It seems it has something. With B you can jump. Oop. And if I press... So I jump with B and with A, what do I do? Boof! I die. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not good at this type of game. Ooh. What did I do? What the heck? What happened? I don't know. I don't get it. No, it's back in full screen mode. But at least, you know, I can see the game in full screen, not like the other games which were only 16 by 9. Which I, I really hated. I'm dying again. So it seems we have a 
we have we have it running i mean we have our quest and it seems something is really going well here so with b i jump but i don't know how to get to the other side Yeah, anyway, I'm not good with this, this type of game, so I prefer to, to get out. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it seems uh, much more promising. And we also have ports. That means that we can install kind of uh, pretty much well-tested uh, games uh, for uh, these devices. And they uh, should work uh, much better than, uh, than the original uh, ones. But you have to install them yourself and you have to be connected to the internet. So if you want to connect to the internet, I recommend you to use a Wi-Fi dongle such as this. But you cannot insert it directly because you have a type C and this one is a, a type uh, B or whatever. So you will need to have this adapter and uh, you can connect uh, to the Wi-Fi. So I have a, a couple of videos around uh, that. And uh, the next thing I will uh, show you is how to install uh, games with this these ports and uh, with uh, using uh, Wi-Fi and uh, hope it will uh, be a much more promising experience. I mean, it looks well so far and hopefully it will be good. Yeah, so bear with me.